My name is uh, Najib Mur. I am an assistant professor of neurology uh, with SIU School of Medicine, and uh, most of my practice is uh, tailored toward epilepsy patients, both in clinic and the hospital sides. This was my main interest, essentially. I didn't just want to become a physician. I think uh, what fascinated me initially was what we don't know about the brain. There's lots of things that we don't know about the brain, and it's, it's uh, of course, the most important organ in our body, and it's a dynamic organ. Uh, there is lots of uh, stigma about epilepsy wherever you go in the world, in, in, in you know, developed or underdeveloped countries, it doesn't matter. It's about 1% of the population have epilepsy. The question is how many of them seek care and how many don't. We do know, and our knowledge is increasing about epilepsy, uh, we had only about three or four different medications 30 years ago. Uh, so the patients didn't have many options to choose from for their treatment. Nowadays, we have close to 30 different medications. So from that aspect, we, are, we have evolved uh, significantly. Uh, and believe it or not, uh, patients are more likely to become seizure-free than not, regardless of what type of epilepsy you have. With medications alone and combination of different medications, about 65% of patients become seizure-free eventually. And uh, the rest of them, um, you know, the majority, I would say, are candidates for epilepsy surgery. And if you are a candidate and you end up getting a surgery, your chances of becoming seizure-free range somewhere between 40% and 80%. Uh, so there are more chances for someone who has epilepsy to become seizure-free than not. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, at SIU and other, uh, other academic medical centers, uh, we mostly see patients who have the refractory type of epilepsy, meaning they've tried different medications, they're not seizure-free, uh, and they are referred either for workup for epilepsy surgery or for other options. And in addition to surgery, uh, nowadays we have devices, stimulation devices, uh, that can help either detect seizures or um, prevent seizures from happening. So there are different options for, for patients to pursue these days. The most reward and the most joy I think I get is from um, patients, how satisfied they are and uh, how good they do, um, just for the fact that uh, we have, you know, the experts in the fields, not only in epilepsy but other fields too, and uh, for being part of an academic uh, practice, uh, that's also something that uh, distinguishes uh, the uh, SIU neurology from other places as well.